if I put my hand in front of the beam at the Large Hadron Collider, <laughs> what would happen to my hand? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Not a good idea. Wouldn't recommend it. And in fact, of course, you can't. The, the, the beam is 100 metres underground. Well, I really don't know. I mean, you've got these things coming together and you would have thought it'd be extremely dangerous. Somebody would yank you out of there before you could do that. I... Th oh, gosh. Um, I don't think you'd feel very much. That's a good question. I don't know, is the answer. Probably would be very bad for you. And they'd be very cross with you, as well, all I can say. I don't know the total amount of energy that would be distributed, and I don't know the energy density. The beam uh, is sending protons in one direction, and of course there's a counter beam going in the other direction. These protons are going, have an energy of order, when it's reached its maximum of order, of 7 tera electron volts. That's about the energy of a mosquito, so it's not a lot, right? It's of one proton. Of a, but the, the difference is this energy is like concentrated into a volume a million, million times smaller than the mosquito. So it's like a really sharp pinprick, but it's still only one proton. Unfortunately, there are uh, something like 3,000 bunches uh, going around the beam, around the accelerator. Each bunch has 100 billion protons. But by the scale of energies that we, we, we notice, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that noticeable. It'd be interesting. I, would, I, would I put my hand in the beam? I'm not sure about that. The other thing, because I've worked at synchrotrons, and the real problem with, with if you're getting off synchrotron radiation because you've got particles travelling very close to the, the, the speed of light, if they're accelerated, then you're getting off synchrotron radiation, and synchrotron radiation is very nasty. When they collide them together, there are something like 600 million collisions per second. So there's a lot of collisions go on. The total energy stored in the beam, whereas the energy in an individual proton may not be very high, the total energy stored in that beam is about 300 uh, megajoules. That's like the energy of an aircraft carrier moving at 11 knots. So now that beam's going to come round. It's suddenly going to hit your, your hand or your body, however, whatever you've put in, and it's got to deposit that energy. So it's like being hit by a massive object and I don't think you'll uh, survive very much. Because it's just hitting such a small space, won't it just drill the ultimate hole through your hand? Why would it start affecting other parts of your body? Um, that's, where I, that's why I was hesitating of course, at the beginning, because I don't really know what will happen. When they collide, they, 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 the beam has r ranges from a width of about a millimetre down to a width of about, uh, I think, uh, um, like a fifth of a, of a hair hair's width, when they actually collide the beam. So they're really narrow when they collide them. When they're not being collided, they're about a millimetre. So they're going to come in and crash in here. So I have thought, maybe, maybe they'll just shoot through, but, but it seems to me that what's got to happen is this energy has all got to be dumped uh, because it's now hit, hitting a lot of matter. It, normally it doesn't hit anything. It's, a real, it's a, almost a total vacuum in, the, in those things, in the, in the accelerator ring. But now there's a, this big high-density region and so all these particles, it seems to me, will just hit in there and just start bombing out. So that's why I thought it might be a bit more dramatic than a little pinprick going straight through you. Uh, there's a vacuum there, so that might have some unpleasant consequences uh, on, 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 uh, on my hand, pressure, pressure change. But I don't think it would have a huge effect.